Identical particles, also called indistinguishable or indiscernible particles, are particles that cannot be distinguished from one another, even in principle. Species of identical particles include, but are not limited to elementary particles such as electrons, composite subatomic particles such as atomic nuclei, as well as atoms and molecules. Quasiparticles also behave in this way. Although all known indistinguishable particles are tiny, there is no exhaustive list of all possible sorts of particles nor a clear-cut limit of applicability, as explored in quantum statistics. There are two main categories of identical particles, bosons, which can share quantum states, and fermions, which do not share quantum states as described by the Pauli exclusion principle. Examples of bosons are photons, gluons, phonons, helium-4 nuclei and all mesons. Examples of fermions are electrons, neutrinos, quarks, protons, neutrons, and helium-3 nuclei. The fact that particles can be identical has important consequences in statistical mechanics. Calculations in statistical mechanics rely on probabilistic arguments, which are sensitive to whether or not the objects being studied are identical. As a result, identical particles exhibit markedly different statistical behavior from distinguishable particles. For example, the indistinguishability of particles has been proposed as a solution to Gibbs's mixing paradox. Topic: <laughs> Distinguishing between particles. There are two methods for distinguishing between particles. The first method relies on differences in the intrinsic physical properties of the particles, such as mass, electric charge, and spin. If differences exist, it is possible to distinguish between the particles by measuring the relevant properties. However, it is an empirical fact that microscopic particles of the same species have completely equivalent physical properties. For instance, every electron in the universe has exactly the same electric charge, this is why it is possible to speak of such a thing as the charge of the electron. Even if the particles have equivalent physical properties, there remains a second method for distinguishing between particles, which is to track the trajectory of each particle. As long as the position of each particle can be measured with infinite precision even when the particles collide, then there would be no ambiguity about which particle is which. The problem with the second approach is that it contradicts the principles of quantum mechanics. According to quantum theory, the particles do not possess definite positions during the periods between measurements. Instead, they are governed by wave functions that give the probability of finding a particle at each position. As time passes, the wave functions tend to spread out and overlap. Once this happens, it becomes impossible to determine, in a subsequent measurement, which of the particle positions correspond to those measured earlier. The particles are then said to be indistinguishable. Topic. Quantum mechanical description of identical particles Topic. Symmetrical and antisymmetrical states What follows is an example to make the above discussion concrete, using the formalism developed in the article on the mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics. Let n denote a complete set of discrete quantum numbers for specifying single particle states for example, for the particle in a box problem, take n to be the quantized wave vector of the wave function. For simplicity, consider a system composed of two identical particles. Suppose that one particle is in the state n1, and another is in the state n2. Intuitively, the quantum state of the system should be n 1 n 2 display style and underscore one wrangle and underscore two wrangle this is simply the canonical way of constructing a basis for a tensor product space H H display style H o times H of the combined system from the individual spaces however this expression implies the ability to identify the particle with n1 as particle 1 and the particle with n2 as particle 2. If the particles are indistinguishable, this is impossible by definition, because n 1 n 2 display style n underscore 1 wrangle n underscore 2 wrangle and n 2 n 
one display style n underscore two wrangle n underscore one wrangle are two different states. Two states are physically only equivalent if they differ by a complex phase factor. Requiring this condition leads to the conclusion that the states are given by the following two possibilities n 1 n 2 plus or minus n 2 n 1 display style n underscore 1 wrangle n underscore 2 wrangle pm n underscore 2 wrangle n underscore 1 wrangle to see this, imagine a two identical particle system. Suppose it is known that one of the particles is in state n 1 display style n underscore 1 and the other is in state n 2 display style n underscore 2. Prior to the measurement, there is no way to know if particle 1 is in state n 1 display style n underscore 1 and particle 2 is in state n 2 display style n underscore 2 or the other way around because the particles are indistinguishable so there are equal probabilities for each of the states to occur meaning that the system is in superposition of both states prior to the measurement states where this is a sum are known as symmetric states involving the difference are called antisymmetric more completely symmetric states have the form n 1 n 2 s constant times n 1 n 2 plus n 2 n 1 Display style n underscore one n underscore two s wrangle equiv m box constant times big n underscore one wrangle n underscore two wrangle plus n underscore two wrangle n underscore one wrangle big. While antisymmetric states have the form n one n two a constant times n one n 2 minus n 2 n 1 display style n underscore 1 n underscore 2 a wrangle equiv m box constant times big n underscore 1 wrangle n underscore 2 wrangle n underscore 2 wrangle n underscore 1 wrangle big note that if n 1 and n 2 are the same the antisymmetric expression gives 0 which cannot be a state vector as it cannot be normalized in other words in an antisymmetric state two identical particles cannot occupy the same single particle states this is known as the pauli exclusion principle and it is the fundamental reason behind the chemical properties of atoms and the stability of matter topic Exchange symmetry The importance of symmetric and antisymmetric states is ultimately based on empirical evidence. It appears to be a fact of nature that identical particles do not occupy states of a mixed symmetry, such as n 1 n 2 equals constant times n 1 n 2 plus i n 2 n 1 display style n underscore 1 n underscore 2 wrangle equals m box constant times big n underscore 1 wrangle n underscore 2 wrangle plus i n underscore 2 wrangle n underscore 1 wrangle big there is actually an exception to this rule which will be discussed later on the other hand, it can be shown that the symmetric and antisymmetric states are in a sense special, by examining a particular symmetry of the multiple particle states known as exchange symmetry. Define a linear operator P, called the exchange operator. When it acts on a tensor product of two state vectors, it exchanges the values of the state vectors P psi phi phi psi Display style p big psi wrangle phi wrangle big equiv phi wrangle psi wrangle p 
P is both Hermitian and unitary. Because it is unitary, it can be regarded as a symmetry operator. This symmetry may be described as the symmetry under the exchange of labels attached to the particles i.e., to the single particle Hilbert spaces. Clearly, P 2 equals 1 Display style p caret 2 equals 1. The identity operator, so the eigenvalues of p are plus 1 and minus 1. The corresponding eigenvectors are the symmetric and antisymmetric states. P n 1 n 2 s equals plus n 1 n 2 s display style p n underscore 1 n underscore 2 s wrangle equals plus n underscore 1 n underscore 2 s wrangle p n 1 n 2 o equals minus n 1 n 2 Display style p n underscore one n underscore two a wrangle equals n underscore one n underscore two a wrangle. In other words, symmetric and antisymmetric states are essentially unchanged under the exchange of particle labels. They are only multiplied by a factor of plus one or minus one, rather than being rotated somewhere else in the Hilbert space. This indicates that the particle labels have no physical meaning, in agreement with the earlier discussion on indistinguishability. It will be recalled that P is Hermitian. As a result, it can be regarded as an observable of the system, which means that, in principle, a measurement can be performed to find out if a state is symmetric or antisymmetric. Furthermore, the equivalence of the particles indicates that the Hamiltonian can be written in a symmetrical form, such as H equals P 1 2 2 M plus P two 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 M plus U X one minus X two plus V X one plus V X two Display style h equals frac p underscore one carrot two two meters plus frac p underscore two carrot two two meters plus u x underscore one x underscore two plus v x underscore one plus v x underscore two. It is possible to show that such Hamiltonians satisfy the commutation relation. P h equals zero. Display style left p h right equals zero. According to the Heisenberg equation, this means that the value of p is a constant of motion. If the quantum state is initially symmetric antisymmetric, it will remain symmetric antisymmetric as the system evolves. Mathematically, this says that the state vector is confined to one of the two eigenspaces of p and is not allowed to range over the entire Hilbert space. Thus, that eigenspace might as well be treated as the actual Hilbert space of the system. This is the idea behind the definition of Fox space. Topic: <laughs> Fermions and bosons. The choice of symmetry or antisymmetry is determined by the species of particle. For example, symmetric states must always be used when describing photons or helium-4 atoms, and antisymmetric states when describing electrons or protons. Particles which exhibit symmetric states are called bosons. The nature of symmetric states has important consequences for the statistical properties of systems composed of many identical bosons. These statistical properties are described as Bose-Einstein statistics. Particles which exhibit antisymmetric states are called fermions. Antisymmetry gives rise to the Pauli exclusion principle, which forbids identical fermions from sharing the same quantum state. Systems of many identical fermions are described by Fermi-Dirac statistics. Parastatistics are also possible. In certain two-dimensional systems, mixed symmetry can occur. These exotic particles are known as anions, and they obey fractional statistics. 
Experimental evidence for the existence of anions exists in the fractional quantum Hall effect, a phenomenon observed in the two-dimensional electron gases that form the inversion layer of MOSFETs. There is another type of statistic, known as braid statistics, which are associated with particles known as plectons. The spin statistics theorem relates the exchange symmetry of identical particles to their spin. It states that bosons have integer spin, and fermions have half-integer spin. Anions possess fractional spin. Topic: <inaudible> n particles. The above discussion generalizes readily to the case of n particles. Suppose there are n particles with quantum numbers n1, n2, nn. If the particles are bosons, they occupy a totally symmetric state, which is symmetric under the exchange of any two particle labels. N one N two N N S equals one N N M N P N P one N P two N P N Display style n underscore one n underscore two c d o t s n underscore n s wrangle equals s q r t f r a c one n prod underscore n m underscore n sum underscore p n underscore p one wrangle n underscore p two wrangle c d o t s n underscore p n wrangle. Here, the sum is taken over all different states under permutations p acting on n elements. The square root left to the sum is a normalizing constant. The quantity Minnesota stands for the number of times each of the single particle states and appears in the n particle state. Note that n Minnesota equals n. In the same vein, fermions occupy totally antisymmetric states n 1 n 2 n n a equals 1 N P S G N P N P one N P two N P N Display style N underscore one N underscore two C D O T S N underscore N A Wrangle equals F R A C one S Q R T N sum underscore P operator name S G N P N underscore P one Wrangle N underscore P two Wrangle C D O T S N underscore P N Wrangle Here S G N P is the sign of each permutation, I E plus one Display style plus one. If p display style p is composed of an even number of transpositions and minus one display style minus one. If odd, note that there is no pi n m n display style pi underscore n m underscore n term, because each single particle state can appear only once in a fermionic state. Otherwise the sum would again be zero due to the antisymmetry, thus representing a physically impossible state. This is the Pauli exclusion principle for many particles. These states have been normalized so that n 1 n 2 n n s n 1 n 2 n n s equals 1 n 1 n 2 n n a n 1 n 2 n n a equals 1 
Display style Langle N underscore one N underscore two C D O T S N underscore N S N underscore one N underscore two C D O T S N underscore N S Wrangle equals one Q quad Langle N underscore one N underscore two C D O T S N underscore N A N underscore one N underscore two C D O T S N underscore N A Wrangle equals one Topic Measurements of identical particles Suppose there is a system of N bosons fermions in the symmetric antisymmetric state N one N two N N S A Display style N underscore one N underscore two C D O T S N underscore N S A Wrangle and a measurement is performed on some other set of discrete observables, M. In general, this yields some result m1 for one particle, m2 for another particle, and so forth. If the particles are bosons fermions, the state after the measurement must remain symmetric i.e. m1 m2 m n s a Display style m underscore one m underscore two c d o t s m underscore n s a wrangle. The probability of obtaining a particular result for the m measurement is p s a n one n n m one m n m one m N S A N one N N S A two Display style P underscore S A N underscore one C D O T S N underscore N right arrow M underscore one C D O T S M underscore N equiv big Langle M underscore one C D O T S M underscore N S A N underscore one C D O T S N underscore N S A Wrangle big carrot two It can be shown that M one M two M N P S A N one N N M one M N equals one Display style sum underscore m underscore one l e q m underscore two l e q dots l e q m underscore n p underscore s a n underscore one c d o t s n underscore n right arrow m underscore one c d o t s m underscore n equals one, which verifies that the total probability is one. The sum has to be restricted to ordered values of m one. Minnesota to ensure that each multi-particle state is not counted more than once. Topic: <laughs> Wave function representation. So far, the discussion has included only discrete observables. It can be extended to continuous observables such as the position x. Recall that an eigenstate of a continuous observable represents an infinitesimal range of values of the observable, not a single value as with discrete observables. For instance, if a particle is in a state, ψ, the probability of finding it in a region of volume d3x surrounding some position x is x ψ 2 d 3 x Display style Langle x psi wrangle carrot two d carrot three x. As a result, the continuous eigenstates x are normalized to the delta function instead of unity. X x equals delta three x minus x. Display style Langle x x wrangle equals delta carrot three x x. Symmetric and antisymmetric multiparticle states can be constructed from continuous eigenstates in the same way as before. 
However, it is customary to use a different normalizing constant. x 1 x 2 x n s equals j n j n p x p 1 x p 2 x p n Display style x underscore one x underscore two c d o t s x underscore n s wrangle equals frac prod underscore j n underscore j n sum underscore p x underscore p one wrangle x underscore p two wrangle c d o t s x underscore p n wrangle x one x two x n a equals one N P S G N P X P one X P two X P N Display style x underscore one x underscore two c d o t s x underscore n a wrangle equals frac one n sum underscore p mathrm s g n p x underscore p one wrangle x underscore p two wrangle c d o t s x underscore p n wrangle. A many-body wave function can be written psi n one n two N N S X one X two X N X one X two X N S N one N two N N S equals J N J N P psi P one x one psi P two x two psi P N x N display style begin aligned psi underscore N underscore one N underscore two C D O T S N underscore N carrot S x underscore one x underscore two C D O T S x underscore N and a quiv Langle x underscore one x underscore two C D O T S x underscore N S N underscore one N underscore two C D O T S N underscore N S wrangle ten PT and equals SQRT FRAC prod underscore J N underscore J N sum underscore P psi underscore P one X underscore one psi underscore P two X underscore two C D O T S psi underscore P N X underscore N end aligned psi N one N two N N A X one X two X N X one X two X N A N one N two N N A equals one N P S G N P psi p one x one psi p two x two psi p n x n display style begin aligned psi underscore n underscore one n underscore two c d o t s n underscore n carrot a x underscore one x underscore two c d o t s x underscore n and a quiv langle x underscore one x underscore two c d o t s x underscore n a n underscore one n underscore two c d o t s n underscore 
N A wrangle ten P T and equals FRAC one SQRT N sum underscore P Mathem S G N P Psi underscore P one X underscore one Psi underscore P two X underscore two C D O T S Psi underscore P N X underscore N end aligned where the single particle wave functions are defined, as usual, by Psi N X X N display style Psi underscore N X equiv Langle X N wrangle the most important property of these wave functions is that exchanging any two of the coordinate variables changes the wave function by only a plus or minus sign this is the manifestation of symmetry and antisymmetry in the wave function representation psi n 1 n n s x i x j equals Psi N one N N S X J X I Display style psi underscore and underscore one C D O T S and underscore N carrot S C D O T S X underscore I C D O T S X underscore J C D O T S equals psi underscore and underscore one C D O T S and underscore N carrot S C D O T S X underscore J C D O T S X underscore I C D O T S Psi N one N N A X I X J equals minus psi N one N N A X J X I Display style psi underscore and underscore one C D O T S and underscore N carrot a C D O T S X underscore I C D O T S X underscore J C D O T S equals psi underscore and underscore one C D O T S and underscore N carrot a C D O T S X underscore J C D O T S X underscore I C D O T S the many body wave function has the following significance if the system is initially in a state with quantum numbers n1 nn and a position measurement is performed the probability of finding particles in infinitesimal volumes near x1 x2 xn is n psi n1 n2 n n s a x one x two x n two d three n x Display style n left psi underscore n underscore one n underscore two c d o t s n underscore n caret s a x underscore one x underscore two c d o t s x underscore n right caret two d caret three n x. The factor of n comes from our normalizing constant, which has been chosen so that, by analogy with single particle wave functions, psi n one n Two N N S A X one X two X N two D three X one D three X two D three X N equals one Display style int int C D O T S int left psi underscore and underscore one and underscore two C D O T S and underscore N carrot S A X underscore one X underscore two C D O T S X underscore N right carrot two D carrot three X underscore one D carrot three X underscore two C D O T S D carrot three X underscore N equals one 
because each integral runs over all possible values of x, each multi-particle state appears n, times in the integral. In other words, the probability associated with each event is evenly distributed across n, equivalent points in the integral space. Because it is usually more convenient to work with unrestricted integrals than restricted ones, the normalizing constant has been chosen to reflect this. Finally, antisymmetric wave function can be written as the determinant of a matrix, known as a Slater determinant. Psi n 1 n n a x 1 x n equals 1 n psi n 1 x 1 psi n 1 x 2 psi n 1 x n psi n 2 x 1 psi n 2 x 2 psi n 2 x n psi n n x1 psi n n x2 psi n n x n display style psi underscore n underscore 1 c d o t s n underscore n caret a x underscore 1 c d o t s x underscore n equals frac 1 s q r t n left begin matrix psi underscore n underscore 1 x underscore 1 and psi underscore n underscore 1 x underscore 2 and c d o t s and psi underscore n underscore 1 x underscore n Psi underscore and underscore two x underscore one and psi underscore and underscore two x underscore two and c d o t s and psi underscore and underscore two x underscore n c d o t s and c d o t s and c d o t s and c d o t s psi underscore and underscore n x underscore one and psi underscore and underscore n x underscore two and c d o t s and psi underscore and underscore n x underscore n end matrix right topic the operator approach in parastatistics the hilbert space for n display style n particles is given by the tensor product n h display style o times underscore n h the permutation group of s n display style s underscore n acts on this space by permuting the entries by definition the expectation values for an observable a display style a of n display style n indistinguishable particles should be invariant under these permutation this means that for all psi element of h Display style psi in H and sigma element of S n display style sigma in S underscore n sigma psi t a sigma psi equals psi t a psi Display style sigma psi caret t a sigma psi equals psi caret t a psi, or equivalently for each sigma element of S n display style sigma in S underscore n sigma t a sigma equals Display style sigma caret t a sigma equals a. Two states are equivalent whenever their expectation values coincide for all observables. If we restrict to observables of n, display style n, identical particles, and hence observables satisfying the equation above, we find that the following states after normalization are equivalent. Psi sigma element of s n lambda 
sigma sigma psi display style psi sim sum underscore sigma in s underscore n lambda underscore sigma sigma psi the equivalence classes are in bijective relation with irreducible subspaces of n h display style o times underscore n h under s n display style s underscore n two obvious irreducible subspaces are the one dimensional symmetric bosonic subspace and anti symmetric fermionic subspace there are however more types of irreducible subspaces states associated with these other irreducible subspaces are called parastatistic states young tableaus provide a way to classify all of these irreducible subspaces topic statistical properties topic statistical effects of indistinguishability the indistinguishability of particles has a profound effect on their statistical properties to illustrate this consider a system of n distinguishable non-interacting particles once again, let nj denote the state i.e. quantum numbers of particle j. If the particles have the same physical properties, the nj's run over the same range of values. Let epsilon n denote the energy of a particle in state n. As the particles do not interact, the total energy of the system is the sum of the single particle energies. The partition function of the system is z equals n 1 n 2 n n exp minus 1 k t epsilon n 1 plus epsilon n 2 plus plus epsilon n n Display style z equals sum underscore n underscore one n underscore two c d o t s n underscore n e x p left frac one k t left var epsilon n underscore one plus var epsilon n underscore two plus c d o t s plus var epsilon n underscore n right right, where k is Boltzmann's constant and t is the temperature. This expression can be factored to obtain z equals she n display style z equals she caret n where she equals n exp minus epsilon n k t display style she equals sum underscore n exp left frac var epsilon n k t right if the particles are identical, this equation is incorrect. Consider a state of the system, described by the single particle states n1 nn. In the equation for z, every possible permutation of the n's occurs once in the sum, even though each of these permutations is describing the same multi-particle state. Thus, the number of states has been overcounted. If the possibility of overlapping states is neglected, which is valid if the temperature is high, then the number of times each state is counted as approximately n. The correct partition function is z equals she n n display style z equals frac she caret n n. Note that this high temperature approximation does not distinguish between fermions and bosons. The discrepancy in the partition functions of distinguishable and indistinguishable particles was known as far back as the 19th century, before the advent of quantum mechanics. It leads to a difficulty known as the Gibbs paradox. Gibbs showed that in the equation Z equals she n, the entropy of a classical ideal gas is S equals north k lane v plus n F T display style s equals n k lane left v right plus n f t, where v is the volume of the gas and f is some function of t alone. 
The problem with this result is that S is not extensive, if N and V are doubled, S does not double accordingly. Such a system does not obey the postulates of thermodynamics. Gibbs also showed that using Z equals Xi N, N, alters the result to S equals north k lane v n plus n f t display style s equals n k lane left frac v n right plus n f t which is perfectly extensive however the reason for this correction to the partition function remained obscure until the discovery of quantum mechanics Topic. Statistical properties of bosons and fermions There are important differences between the statistical behavior of bosons and fermions, which are described by Bose–Einstein statistics and Fermi–Dirac statistics respectively. Roughly speaking, bosons have a tendency to clump into the same quantum state, which underlies phenomena such as the laser, Bose–Einstein condensation, and superfluidity. Fermions, on the other hand, are forbidden from sharing quantum states, giving rise to systems such as the Fermi gas. This is known as the Pauli exclusion principle, and is responsible for much of chemistry, since the electrons in an atom fermions successively fill the many states within shells rather than all lying in the same lowest energy state. The differences between the statistical behavior of fermions, bosons, and distinguishable particles can be illustrated using a system of two particles. The particles are designated A and B. Each particle can exist in two possible states, labeled 0 display style 0 wrangle and 1 display style 1 wrangle which have the same energy. The composite system can evolve in time, interacting with a noisy environment. Because the 0 display style 0 wrangle and 1 display style 1 wrangle states are energetically equivalent neither state is favored so this process has the effect of randomizing the states this is discussed in the article on quantum entanglement after some time the composite system will have an equal probability of occupying each of the states available to it the particle states are then measured if a and b are distinguishable particles then the composite system has four distinct states 0 0 display style 0 wrangle 0 wrangle 1 1 display style 1 wrangle 1 wrangle 0 1 display style 0 wrangle 1 wrangle and 1 0 display style 1 wrangle 0 wrangle the probability of obtaining two particles in the Zero display style zero wrangle state is zero point two five. The probability of obtaining two particles in the one display style one wrangle state is zero point two five, and the probability of obtaining one particle in the zero display style zero wrangle state and the other in the one display style one wrangle state is 0 0.5. If A and B are identical bosons, then the composite system has only three distinct states 0 0 display style 0 wrangle 0 wrangle 1 1 display style 1 wrangle 1 wrangle and 1 2 0 1 plus 1 0 display style frac 1 sqrt 2 0 wrangle 1 wrangle plus 1 wrangle 0 wrangle when the experiment is performed the probability of obtaining two particles in the 0 display style 0 wrangle state is now 0 0.33 the probability of obtaining two particles in the 1 display style 1 wrangle State is 0 0.33, and the probability of obtaining one particle in the 0 display style 0 wrangle state and the other in the 
1 display style 1 wrangle state is 0 0.33 note that the probability of finding particles in the same state is relatively larger than in the distinguishable case this demonstrates the tendency of bosons to clump if A and B are identical fermions, there is only one state available to the composite system, the totally antisymmetric state 1 2 0 1 minus 1 0 Display style FRAC 1 SQRT 2 0 wrangle 1 wrangle 1 wrangle 0 wrangle when the experiment is performed, one particle is always in the zero display style zero wrangle state, and the other is in the one display style one wrangle state. The results are summarized in Table One. As can be seen, even a system of two particles exhibits different statistical behaviors between distinguishable particles, bosons, and fermions. In the articles on Fermi-Dirac statistics and Bose-Einstein statistics, these principles are extended to large number of particles, with qualitatively similar results. The homotopy class To understand why particle statistics work the way that they do, note first that particles are point-localized excitations and that particles that are spacelike separated do not interact. In a flat d-dimensional space M, at any given time, the configuration of two identical particles can be specified as an element of M times M if there is no overlap between the particles, so that they do not interact directly, then their locations must belong to the space M times M, coincident points, the subspace with coincident points removed. The element x, y describes the configuration with particle i at x and particle 2 at y, while y, x describes the interchanged configuration. With identical particles, the state described by x, y ought to be indistinguishable from the state described by y, x. Now consider the homotopy class of continuous paths from x, y to y, x, within the space m times m, coincident points. If M is road where D3, then this homotopy class only has one element. If M is R2, then this homotopy class has countably many elements i.e. a counterclockwise interchange by half a turn, a counterclockwise interchange by one and a half turns, two and a half turns, etc., a clockwise interchange by half a turn, etc. In particular, a counterclockwise interchange by half a turn is not homotopic to a clockwise interchange by half a turn. Lastly, if M is R, then this homotopy class is empty. Suppose first that D3. The universal covering space of M times M, coincident points, which is none other than M times M, coincident points itself, only has two points which are physically indistinguishable from X, Y, namely X, Y itself and Y, X. So, the only permissible interchange is to swap both particles. This interchange is an involution, so its only effect is to multiply the phase by a square root of 1. If the root is plus 1, then the points have Bose statistics, and if the root is minus 1, the points have Fermi statistics. In the case M equals R2, the universal covering space of M times M, coincident points, has infinitely many points that are physically indistinguishable from X, Y. This is described by the infinite cyclic group generated by making a counterclockwise half-turn interchange. Unlike the previous case, performing this interchange twice in a row does not recover the original state, so such an interchange can generically result in a multiplication by exp i theta for any real theta by unitarity. The absolute value of the multiplication must be 1. This is called anionic statistics. In fact, even with two distinguishable particles, even though x, y is now physically distinguishable from y, x, the universal covering space still contains infinitely many points which are physically indistinguishable from the original point, now generated by a counterclockwise rotation by one full turn. This generator, then, results in a multiplication by exp i phi. This phase factor here is called the mutual statistics. Finally, in the case m equals r, the space m times m, coincident points, is not connected, so even if particle i and particle 2 are identical, they can still be distinguished via labels such as the particle on the left and the particle on the right. There is no interchange symmetry here. Equals 
Topic See also equals quasi set theory De Broglie hypothesis equals equals footnotes